Welcome back to Final Fantasy X, people. I've got a plate of cookies, and that's it. I don't have, have uh, any drink or anything, but whatever. Right, we've uh, we've landed in this lovely-looking ruin area. There's a lot of birds in the distance there, flying around the tower, or the main building. But um, we're going to do a bit of an explore around here, because there's going to be some items to pick up. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they are, but I definitely remember, ugh, pardon me, that there are some. So let's swim over to this little uh, area. We can actually dive underwater. And um, the, the weird thing is about this game is people can actually breathe underwater. Don't ask me how. Something is written here. I can't make heads or tails of that. Edra might frana pum duk uv murk. Oh, I'm not gonna even try. Makalania, that's uh Okay. What do we have here? Nope. Can't read it. Nope, can't read it. I'll explain about that later. Uh there is something Aha, a chest. 200 gil! Hooray. Now, there's bound to be some other little treasures around somewhere. The only question is where? Right around here. Anything? Some steps. Can I go up these steps? Oh, hang on, what's this? Ah, introduction to Albed. Find Albed Primus to help you decipher the strange Albed language. Right, now, basically, throughout the game, you collect these primers which reveal a letter of the alphabet um, of this new, well, this weird Albed language, which is what we saw just before. Um, I reckon I should really just try and collect them all from time. Because you can load previously sort of collected primers into your new save file so you can read all this and understand all this language. Um, I really should just play it blind, shouldn't I? I'm going to cancel, I'm not going to load it. Okay, I'm going to try and collect all of them as I find them. Um, it, should, it should be, should be fine. Anything around here? In fact, there's a chest there, isn't there? on that little platform, but how the hell do I get to it? Maybe I need to go back up these steps. Maybe. Let's have a bit more of a look. Aha, yes. Okay, what's going to be in here? Anything good? Potion times two. Acceptable. That will do. Um, anything else around here? Maybe we should just head to where the red arrow was telling us to on the map. I don't want to miss anything if I can avoid it. Don't want to miss a thing. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to head there, sod it. If I've missed anything, well, we're just going to have to live with it, aren't we? Because there's nothing else I can see. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'm sure it's nothing important, even if we have missed anything. Right. Now this, this was very different to uh, the previous Final Fantasies. The PS1 games, obviously, being on the PS2. It's, uh... It's still, I'd say, people say this game's a bit linear, but... It's not really. There is a lot of exploring you can do. Uh, I might as well save it. I haven't saved it in a, in a while. It's uh, the one. Okay, we're on our own. We've lost Oren. Don't know where he's gone. Uh, is there a point where I have to walk? I don't know. 
I think to get one of these chests you have to walk over otherwise the path sort of uh, collapses or something. I'm not quite sure. I seem to remember that, but maybe I'm wrong. What's around here? There's going to be a chest. Yep. High potion. Well, hey, hey. Quickly show you the main menu, actually. You got your uh, items. You got clue items there. Ability. We don't have any. Overdrive. Status. You know, the basic stuff. Uh, we're going to unlock some more stuff on that later. Um. Okay, carry on on. Oh, cutscene. Uh oh. What the hell's that? Oh shit. Okay, maybe that's what I was remembering. Avoid the, uh, yeah, the rubble. Okay, we're in the water with. A potentially nasty sea creature. Excellent. What the hell's that over there? There's another glowy blue thing. Alright. Any chests around here? Let's have a bit of a nosy. A bit of an explore. Can't see anything. Oh dear. Triggered a cutscene. We're just harmlessly swimming along. Minding our own business. When suddenly, holy crap, fish monsters, and there's more than one of them. So, we hear the first, uh, well, the battle theme of this game, battle music, I think it's alright, pretty catchy. Right, okay, so we're gonna attack these bastards. Sahagins or Sahagins, I don't know how you say it. Couldn't give a toss actually, but they're not too powerful. We've got plenty of HP, we can take these guys, one hit them. Overkill. Now overkill is good because it, it gives you more experience if you like do uh, an excessive amount of damage on an enemy. Oh dear, what's happening now? I love overkill, it's great. Ooh. The hell's that? Oh my god. Yeah, that's swimming away. Oh, look at the blood, look at the blood! Oh shit. It's a weird looking thing, isn't it? It's got like it's an empty rib cage. Oh crap, please don't tell me we have to fight this. Would you really fight that thing? I'd be swimming for my life. I'll tell you that for free. Okay. Now we can't actually win this fight. As you'll soon see. Yeah. He does a lot of damage, but he basically just halves our health every time he attacks. We can't kill us. But we're not doing any damage to it whatsoever. So, after the third turn, I believe we trigger a bit of a cutscene. There we go, after the second turn, whatever. Or the third. I lost count already. I think I'd, yeah, I'd swim away. I would really, I mean, I'm not a very good swimmer, so I'd be screwed really, but... Oh, nicely. Nicely done there, Titus. Watch out for the falling uh, wreckage, rubble, whatever. Yeah, time, time to go. Okay, that's as good as uh, an option as any. Let's just go. Look at this. Oh my word. Well, to be fair, if he did swallow you, would you just end up in his room cage? You could just, like, smash your way out. You wouldn't actually... How the hell would he digest you? He doesn't want to have any organs whatsoever. But we uh, we just escaped there, so... It's alright. Foo-hoo! 
Ouch. Looks like we're not getting back out of that way, but why would you want to? <laughs> we just escaped a nasty beast. I have made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. Okay. Can't go back that way, can we? Oh no, we have to. Oh no, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> no, we don't. Yes, we do. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly at first, but you find your way through the environment. And I like this music as well. It's very sort of fitting. Look at this. This, this place is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Definitely some old ruins, some old temple or something. Cold. Always cold. Need fire. Good idea. Looks to be pretty damp around here though. Examine. The remains of a campfire. Oh, someone else has been here. With flint and tinder, you could start another fire here. Well, let's go find some then. Um, do, do, do. I do love the music. We can't go through that door. I don't blame. I don't think. No. Let's have a look over here. Now there is a chest here. Yep. Yeah. Nicely hidden away there. Ether. Covers hey, uh, MP. Not HP, that's potions. Examine. Withered Boquette? Oh, Bokeh? Boquette. Who says fucking Boquette? God, I'm a retard sometimes. Now, there's going to be a nice item around here, surely be some chests. There we go. High potion again. Useful. It is a bit fiddly get you know working your way around these obstacles but not too bad. Yeah, I mean, how confused would you be if you were Tidus right now? I'd be proper shitting myself. You know, I've been sucked up into a giant sort of sphere of water and dumped in this place. Uh, don't need to... Do I hear? Quickly heal myself, yeah, God. Right, let's try this door. What sort of place this was in its heyday? Examine. Come on. Ah, what's that? Come on, there we go. That's handy. Flint. That's what we needed. Alright then. Don't think there's anything else in that room. Do we have enough to start a fire now? Can we give it a go? Yes. So he does have some survival uh, instincts. That's better. Hey, up! Oh, I don't like that camera angle. says that to themselves. <laughs> I mean, 
I don't know. He can be a bit of a whiny bitch, this guy. What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. <laughs> I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. And what was that? Was that some sort of flashback? Bit of a memory? No idea. Oh, fire's going out, buddy. Wake up, man. Fire's going out. Dude, the fire. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not looking good. Wake up. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, don't go out on me. Fan the flames, man. Fan the flames. Haha, <laughs> he got wood. Oh. Oh, crap. This guy doesn't look nice. Oh, look at those eyes. Ooh, nasty. Now this is just showing off right here. Why the hell does he need to run around the room? Yes, I can run on walls. How clever am I? And then jump into the center. He could have done that straight away. He's just destroyed our fire, so we're going to have to kick his ass. No one destroys our fire. Give me a break indeed. We just can't seem to have a moment's peace, can we? Well, we did have a bit of a sleep, so maybe. Anyway. Right, just keep on attacking. Keep on attacking it. Ah, you missed. Tidus uh, has very, sort of... He's very quick, is Tidus. Yeah, maybe we should use a potion. Got plenty of potions, might as well use them. Don't want to risk dying here. Not against this fool. What's going on now? Wow. That explosion was so cool, they had to show it from several different angles. Hell are these funky dudes? Got bayonets and guns. Is that a woman? Certainly looks like there is, uh, she is. She's walking calmly up to us. Got a weird set of clothes. Alright, so we, we seem to. Cool! <laughs> He's like, yeah. Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. Special, right, yeah, whatever. So we look to have a new ally. So we're going to use a grenade on this fool. Lovely damage. And you'll see on the right there, it shows the order of turns. And it changes depending on what command you want to use. So we, we have Titus attacking them, we have this question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, then the monster will attack. Pretty simple. Special. We can steal, actually. We'll steal. Oh, what do you know? It was, it was holding a grenade. Nice. Right, let's use one on him. Boom. Um, special. Use another one. Why not? And it's down. Do 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 do. The old victory fanfare. And we seem to have gained an S level, whatever that is. Ability sphere times two. What the hell are those? We shall see soon. What an ass shot that is. And there are quite a few of those in this game, I seem to remember. Hello. Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> Phew. That 
was close. Whoa. Hey, let me go. Oh crap. Redek Drak. Vin Irisa Tetiaka. How are they saying? Fuck it a coup. Damn Oh crap. Fed. Trip it we saw. Tell me a drakisha tape. If we fed it. Oh. Colonel. Oh. Taken down. Good night, Titus. You've been done. What a strange bunch of people. And they were speaking that Al Bed language. So, unless you've collected all the, the primers and whatever in a previous save game, you won't know what the hell they're talking about there. And you're not supposed to, really. Not that it matters much, I don't think. They look to have taken us to their ship. And we've just been left on the deck to rot. That can't be comfortable to sleep on. Nice uh, searchlights, though. Kid, it's my job. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, that hurts. Usujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, don't piss off the guys with the guns and the bayonets. What the hell? That is one cool-looking guy. <laughs> that always right. makes me laugh. Whatever. Whatever. I said I don't understand. Having a clue. Fed. You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. Oh. You you understand me? It's a bit of a revelation. All right, I'll work. So, they want us to help them do something. Okay. And they won't hurt us. Right, but whatever. This over here, if we can go to it. This is the first primer. Volume 1. And it reveals that the letter Y in Albed is actually A. So, okay, Albed Hujella. Hujella? Is that how you say that? No idea. Save point, we're gonna save. Because uh, we need to really collect our thoughts here. We've been swept up in this magical journey by these strange people. And it looks like she's joined our party for now. We don't know who she is. Um, should I really speak to them now? Yeah, might as well. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot? What? What are you going to tell us? Using the sphere grid, okay. I'll let you I'll let you pause and read that if you want to. The sphere grid's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to watch this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defense upgrades. You got this is basically just how you upgrade your character by upgrading the stats. Each node upgrades a certain stat or gives you an ability. You need to use spheres to activate them. And you need sphere levels to move around, basically. Can I skip this? No, I can't. So if you want to pause and read all this, you can do. But obviously, I'll be using this quite a lot, and you'll be seeing how I do it, and you'll pick it up. It's not hard. Uh -huh, you get AP in battle, and you level up. So you can, if you got four S levels, you can move four spaces, or oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to do this? Can I just skip it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. No, I can't. Yes, yeah, so once you've moved, you can't sort of get that S level back. 
if you want to go back, you'll have to get another level and whatever. Activate nodes, you must use spheres. Yes, yes, yes. If you want to use. So if you want to learn an ability, you have to use an ability sphere. Power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. <laughs> yes, I know all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have sworn you could have skipped this, but... Never mind. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have a cookie while they're saying all this bollocks. Yeah, the sphere grid's a pretty big thing. Um, but it is very fun to use. Okay, that was nice of you to explain that for us. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, why did I press X then? <laughs> okay, we get it. Oh, he gave us some potions. That was nice of you. Uh, yeah, what? I have no idea what he said, so I'm just going to say yeah. Oh, shit. No. No, we don't want to do this. No. No, I've seen it. Let me skip. You bastards. No, man. What the... Oh, what did I say? Yeah. Fuck's sake. Right. Mash the X button. Skip this bollocks. We've seen it. We've seen it. There's no need for this. This is just wasting time. You. Oh, I know you're trying to be helpful, but we don't need it. Oh, crap. Do we have time for another cookie? Can't be even asked eating another cookie. Alright, just. We've seen this. We know. There must be a skip button. Pressing all the pressing all of them though, and it's not working, so. Oh uh, crap. Sorry about this, chaps. Come on. This is a long ass tutorial. We're getting to the end of it now. Okay, okay, we know we can swap characters, we know. We know we can zoom out. Oh, hooray! I'm not speaking to you again. God. Right, um... I reckon I'm probably going to have to end it there. I'm going to save it again. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you in the next video! Goodbye.